Hello everyone, I am Shubhangar and welcome back to the lecture series for Tana. So in today's lecture, we are going to see how to design and simulate an NMOS uh, using Tana tools, that is SNU. We are going to do a DCC analysis of the NMOS and we are going to plot the waveform. Okay, so uh, let me first show you how the waveform will look like. So here on the screen, you can see the NMOS which I have created. So now I am going to start the simulation. So from here I will start the simulation so that I can show you how the waveform will look like. Uh, and uh, I will be reminding you again that we are doing a DC sweep analysis. So here the simulation is running. And you can see here the waveform is plotted. Okay. Uh, that is between current and the VGS. So this is our waveform and you know the NMOS waveform looks like this. Alright, so uh, let us uh, see how we can make this NMOS and how we can simulate it to get this waveform. Alright, so what I am going to do is I am going to create a new cell so that we can uh, start from scratch. So I am going to go to cell then new view and I'm going to name it, uh, let's say NMOS2, all right. So now I'm going to click OK. And here, uh, if you have seen the previous video, you remember how we added the uh, all the things as an instance. So here I'm going to add the components from this generic 250 NM devices. And I'm going to add NMOS and I'm going to create an instance. So here is the instance of NMOS. Let me just zoom in a bit. Now uh, we can see this is the train terminal, this is the gate terminal and this is the source terminal. So here what we need to do. So here we need to give the sources to the VGS and VDS. Alright. So for that we are going to use DC sources. So you need to go to this uh, spice sources and here just select VDC. All right. So right click it and click instance. Okay. So place one VDC here and another here. All right. So now we need to connect this one to the drain terminal. We will do that in a second. First of all, we are going to change the values. Okay, so I am going to change the name first. That is, this will be VGS source. Okay, and here I am going to change the value as VDS, sorry, VGS param. Okay, we can give a direct value as well, but here for now I am giving a parameter value and we will see so that we can see how we can set the parameter values as well. Right, so uh, for this VDS, okay, just rotate it, and now you need to move it by pressing Alt and M, okay, and we will connect it here because positive terminal should be connected to drain, negative should be grounded. So, again, here we are going to change the name that is name to VDS source. And here I am going to give the value as VDS params. All right. So now we need a ground. Okay. So here in the MISC, I am going to type ground. So here it is. I am going to use an instance. Again, I will rotate it by pressing the R key. Okay. Here is one instance. And here I am going to use a wire to connect this source to the negative terminal of VGS. All right. And now I'm going to use one ground here and I'm going to connect this here. So this is how we made the NMOS uh, so that we can simulate it. We have provided VGS and VDS. All right. So now what we need to do uh, is we need to print the current. All right. So print the current uh, to print the current we are going to use this thing that is in the spice plot there is a probe uh, 
this i device terminal point all right it basically tells uh, which terminal of which device you want to get plotted so i am going to select the instance here and okay uh, one more thing that this thing doesn't need to be connected on to any terminal it just need to place anywhere on the design all right and uh, let me do one more thing that uh, i am going to change the name of this transistor as m1 instead of mn1 okay and now here uh, i am going to print the device terminal current i need to print the drain current so uh, b is for the drain here you can change the terminals any terminal you want so i will select d only and of device x1 uh, instead of x1 we are going to use m1 all right and here uh, make sure that you write the device name as mm1 because in tanner you need to uh, add an m before the name of the transistor or name of the any device so this uh, design this is our design this is complete now uh, we have to specify this vgs and vds parameters and the source value and the dc sweep values so for that we are going to go to setup spice simulation okay so first of all here in general we are going to add the library files so just click these three dots and here if you remember the library file will be in tanner eda folder in tanner tools processes generic 250 nm models and here you will find this library file make sure to add tt after the library file all right so we have added the library file now we need to add the parameters that is these two parameters so we will be adding the name and the values so i am going to create a new parameter that is vgs underscore param and i am going to give a value of one one volt similarly i am going to create another parameter that is vds underscore param and i am going to give the value 2.5 volt all right so now we have give the values to our parameters as well now the next thing is the dc analysis so as i said we will be doing the dc sweep analysis so uh, in here we need to uh, set the value of the sources that we are going to use all right that is vds source and vds source that is the parameters we will be basically over sweeping the values which we have defined for our parameters all right so now what we will do uh, is we are going to define the first value as vds param that is our parameter name start value will be 0 and the end will be 2.5 because we have uh, set the value of 2.5 so it can go till 2.5 next thing the step will be 0.1 okay and the sweep type will be linear now next source we are going to add vgs underscore param okay here we are going to start it with 1 and we are going to go till 1.5 with a step of 0.5 and sweep type will be linear okay make sure uh, that you know that the first parameter which we have entered will be plotted on the independent axis all right that is this parameter will be plotted on the independent axis so make sure the dc sweep analysis is checked on okay and you have added the parameters you have added the library files and then click okay so save your design okay uh, before simulating we will go to tools and we'll see design checks and we are going to see view so we can see design check completed zero errors were found so now what we are going to do is we are going to start the simulation so let us start the simulation and see if we get the waveform as expected or not so here the simulation is running it usually takes 1 to minutes yeah so we can see here uh, our simulation is running and we have the plot 
between the drain current uh, between the drain voltage and the current all right so we can see uh, vgs parameter uh, this is on different values uh, for the vgs that is we have uh, applied the different values all right that is vds when vgs is equal to 1 when vgs is equal to 1.5 like that so this is how we get the dc sweep analysis of an nmos so i hope it is clear how to perform the dc sweep analysis so this is all for this video see you in the next video